In this video, we will study how to find the composition of functions, and we're going to be using these four steps. The first step is to identify which function is the inside function and which function is the outside function. And it's going to usually be in one of these two notations. If it's in this notation, we can see the f is on the outside, the g is on the inside. So therefore, the f is our outside function, the g is our in inside function. If it's in this notation, we can see the g of x inside of the f of x. So this notation, this little circle in the middle, it's going to read like the word of. So we would read f of g of x. And if it's in this notation, again, we're going to say the word of right there. So it's g of, f of g of x. So in this example, we're going to examine f of x equals 2x plus 1, g of x is equal to 3 minus 4x. And we're going to try to find the composition f of g of x. I would recommend writing in the other notation. And we can clearly identify that f is the outside function, g is the inside function. So step two says to write the outside function and replace x with parentheses. So our outside function in this example is f. So I'm going to write two and instead of parentheses, instead of x, I write parentheses, and then I have a plus one. Step three says to replace each occurrence of x in the outside function with the inside function. So in this example, we're going to replace the x with the inside function, which is three minus four x. Step four is to simplify. So to simplify in this case, we're going to distribute the two and write six minus eight x, and then I still have a plus one. And last is to combine like terms. So I have negative eight x, and six plus one is seven. We have now found f of g of x. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Same, same two functions, but now we're going to find g of f of x. So again, this notation would read g of f of x. Okay, so we're going to now write the outside function and replace x with parentheses. In this case, our outside function is g. So I'm going to write 3 minus 4, and then I'll put parentheses. Step 3 is to replace each occurrence of x in the outside function with the inside function. So in the parentheses, I'm going to put the inside function. In this case, it's f of x. So 2x plus 1. Step 4 is to simplify. So again, we're going to have to distribute. So I'm going to write 3 minus 8x minus 4 and combine like terms. So we have negative 8x and 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So we write g of f of x is equal to negative 8x minus 1. One final note, in general, um, g of f of x is not necessarily the same as f of g of x. We'll examine that statement later. This is Mr. Martinez. Thank you for watching.